Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how I got this nail set right here. It is a little French tip with some added extras. I think it turned out so cute. Starting off first, I'm going to show you the tips I use. These are soft gel tips and they are in the shape medium coffin. They're my favorite tips to use on myself. And then I'm going to go in with Born Pretty's Jelly Nude Color JN53. This is one of my favorites that I got from Born Pretty. I've used it on myself over a gel X and i absolutely love it so i'm going to use this as the base for the french it does have a little bit of glitter embedded in the pink which makes it a little bit more different for your french base so just not a plain pink or a nude it has little bits of shimmer and glitter going throughout it and it makes it a really 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 pretty pink so I'm going to show you me doing the coats. I'm going to do two coats of this pink curing for 60 seconds in between and then I'll come back to you for the next part of the design. Okay, for the next part of the design, I'm going to go in with Glitter Bell's Unbelievable Gel in the shade White. So this is my go-to for French tips or any detail white design. And I'm just using my detailer brush and eyeball in the French. So I start off in the center and then I pull the smile line up to the sides like you can see me doing right now. I also use this method on clients. I never really map out my French. Obviously, I can't pull my client's hands around the way I'm doing this false nail, but I just kind of start in the center and pull my smile line up to the sides. It's just the easiest way I find to do my French. With a bit of practice, you just get used to where you want your French to go and where you want your smile line to go. And yeah, I'm just filling it in here as well with a detailer brush, using the detailer brush to fill in the rest of the white part of the French. This gel is so opaque it just goes on in one coat and i love it for french it's just so easy it doesn't run on you it's just kind of it's nice and solid it's thick but it's not too thick so yeah it's really really good for frenchies So that's two of the nails with the French done and I'm going to do a third but I'm not going to show it on camera just because it'll probably become too boring if I show the three of them. Um, I'm just going to show you the outline in part here. So this is bottles with benefits from the gel bottle ink which is one of my absolute favourites to use for nail art. I'm just going to outline the smile line with this and I'm going to do that on the three nails. As you can see it is really really opaque. It's a full coverage glitter gel and it is nearly one coat coverage. I would typically do two coats all the time but you nearly could do one coat and get away with it it's so so full coverage um yeah just going to outline all of these nails here and then i'm going to come back with the next part of the design so please let me know if you are enjoying this video so far if you are please subscribe i have a lot more nail tutorials on my channel and i will be having a lot more coming in the future so let me know what it is that you like about doing nails are you a nail tech are you a nail enthusiast or do you do press-ons or gel or acrylic I personally do gel and then I also do gel polish and press on nails as well. So I love all types of nails. I love watching all types of nail videos. And even though I don't do acrylic, I do love watching acrylic videos as well. I just find it so satisfying the way people lay acrylic. And yeah, I just love watching that stuff. So 
So now for the fun part, this is the ring finger and I'm just grabbing some McCart rhinestone glue and I'm going to apply the glue along in a swirly motion on the ring, on the finger. So basically I'm applying the glue as if I'm drawing a swirly line and this is where I want my flowers to go. I want them to go around in a little bit of a swirl and these are the flowers that I'm going to apply. So I think I got these from Shein and they come in a box, a six grid box and they have like purple, yellow, pink, red, blue, white. They are supposed to be a little bit of a dupe for acrylic flowers and I think they're so handy and they're so pretty as well. So I'm just going to apply a big one, a small one, another small one, then go back to big and kind of switch out the colours as I go. I'm just going to use pink and white for this design because I think it goes with the French perfectly. And then I'm also going to add in the little pearls and the little caviar beads as well at the end. So I'm using this wax pencil to pick up the flowers and then pop them onto the glue gel. And once all these flowers are applied, that's when you pop the nail into the lamp and cure it because this gel does have to be cured in the lamp. So I am just going to let you watch me applying all these little stones and beads. I'm just adding some more glue on here because I realized I didn't really have enough for the sides and I did want to add some little bits on the sides and also in the middle of the petals here. So I'm using a really small detailer brush just to get the glue in the middle of those flowers um, to make sure that I don't pop too much glue on. So on to the last part of the design now, I'm just going to grab this top coat from Born Pretty and I'm going to apply it to all of the nails. So this is the last part of the design and once I have this done, I'm going to pop this in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And this is a no wipe, so I don't have to do anything when they come out. They don't have a sticky layer, they will be just perfect. This is how the nails turned out. They are so, so cute. I'm so happy with them. I love the flowers. I think they are just so cute. Just give the edges a little bit of a file as I'm doing right here, just to make sure there's no bump or little nib at the end of the nails. And this is them. I took a little video of them out in the garden beside the flowers and they are so, so cute. So I'm so happy with them. Let me know if you like them. And if you did, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.